Now we're going to move on to the upper body and we're going to use a landmine throw. Again, we're going to do an isometric pause. So he's going to press into my hands. Again, it's an isometric tension. So we're overcoming isometrics or concentric isometric. He's going to do that for three seconds. Then right after that, he's going to dip down in a counter movement and then throw, actually let go of the landmine. Make sure you have a partner there to catch the barbell, obviously, right? Um, this is going to be a form of ballistics. This is to help with that explosive power. Again, like I said, we're trying to maximize motor unit recruitment and muscle fiber firing. Again, when you're doing this, when you're maximally isometric contraction, you're working on greater force production. And then from there, we're working on that rate of force production. Let's do this. So I want him not too down. I want him like mid range. So that elbow is almost at a 90 degree position, right? From there, I'm going to take my hands. I'm going to grab here. On my go, he's going to press into it. One, two, three, go. Drive, 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 down, hit it. Good. Okay, other side. And switch arms. We're going to do the back arm. No matter southpaw orthodox, we're still going to change the angle. Again, I just want that back arm to shoot through. Ready? Drive, 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 drive. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hup. Good. Relax. Good. You're working on a force, high force, and then a high velocity. The goal, again, is to increase that motor unit recruitment, muscle fiber firing. We want to make sure that we have the greatest neural drive. We want to make sure that we have the ability to produce that power in these ranges. So if you're looking to get this inside of a program or when you're doing this in camp, this is going to be very important when you're about four weeks out, when you're trying to increase that higher velocity, higher power threshold work. Also, you want to make sure that you have minimal rest because, again, when you're talking about a fight, they have to be able to produce that power for a long duration and also have minimal rest periods. This will be very important when you're talking about, you know, a fight sequence where a guy needs to have that power for all three, five, 10, 12 rounds, whether you're boxing or MMA. Okay, I have more information on this in my mentorship program. You can check it out. The uh, link will be down below. I have this set. All the protocols and programs are set inside the mentorship. So if you want to get involved in that, we have over 300 coaches in the mentorship from around the world. Check it out down below. Again, if you have any questions, Des, you got any? If you guys aren't following, if you're not following the page or the YouTube, you're missing out. Smash the bell. Oh, God.